By the time I'm 30, I hope to be retired. This is one of our five axis CNC lathes. Uh, it is our most expensive machine, one of three, at $750,000 a piece. They're state of the art and everything about them makes your job and your life so much easier than previous work. My name is Benjamin LePay and I'm studying precision machining technology here at TSTC. When I first walked into the lab, I was scared. I'll be 100% honest. I looked at these machines and I was like, wow, I have no idea what any of these do. And my first thought was, what if I mess up? I was like, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that training. That won't be me. We're starting at the start of the program, so we're gonna go rewind. Just says at the start, we press go and here we go. Just wanna bring the speed up a little bit. Coolant's going to make sure everything stays nice and cool. <laughs> right now it's facing off. Actually, what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna turn off the coolant so you should be able to get a better view of what's actually going on. It's gonna bring it down to size. And then it'll start running the actual process. In a teaching environment, this is gonna take you five minutes, maybe? Maximum, and that's if your instructor's stopping you and going back and forth and, you know, saying, let's take a look at this and here's why this works the way it does. If you're on line at an actual job, this would take you two minutes maximum. I chose TSTC because it offers hands-on training in an up-and-coming uh, career opportunity in Texas with more and more blue-collar jobs being in demand and less white collar jobs. There are machinists and machine programmers who are being paid upwards of 80 or $90,000, almost within their first two or three years out of college. So now it's touching up, making sure all the edges are fine and smooth, nice and clean. It's going really slow to get a good clean finish on it, make sure that it's shiny. And we can literally take it right out of the machine. My mom is my biggest supporter. I've given some of the projects in the shop to her that I finished, and right now she's watching me build a one-cylinder pneumatic engine. And I've been updating her over the last couple days about finishing that project, so she's gonna be pretty excited to see that.